Today we're going to look at the Aztecs, all right? Now the Aztecs were another pre-Columbian American civilization, just like the Olmecs and the Mayans, but the Aztecs came later. And just like the Olmecs influenced the Mayans, the Mayans would influence the Aztecs. So we'll see some similarities between their cultures. First, let's review some of the geography, all right? I want you to label some rivers, the Rio Grande, the Mississippi, the Missouri out to the west, and the Ohio out to the east. I also want you to label some mountains, some Rocky Mountains in the west, Appalachian Mountains in the east. Now let's review the Mayans. We talked about a lot of different parts of their culture, but let's um, review the most important. So the Mayans built temples and worshipped many gods. They built cities out of stone. Tikal, Palenque, Uchmal, and Chichen Itza are some examples. This here is a picture of Uchmal that I took. Notice that it's in the jungles, there are trees around. It's very unique. Not a lot of people actually built cities in the middle of jungles, okay? Now, this is just a short list. The Mayans actually built about 50 cities. Here's some Mayan artwork. Now, remember that they were influenced by some other peoples, like the people in Teotihuacan, all right? This is some of their artwork. Now, I feel like there's some similarities here, okay? The viewpoint and the way people are shown. What do we call that when ideas are good spread from one area to another? Now let's talk about the location. That's another part that, about the Mayan culture that you're going to need to know is where they were located, okay? They were located on the Yucatan Peninsula. The peninsula is almost completely surrounded by water, but not quite completely. If it was completely surrounded, it would be an island, right? But it's not. It's a peninsula. Now, next we're going to talk about the Aztecs, which, who lived just west of the Mayans. Now I need you to label the Aztec and the Mayan areas on your map. Now, the Aztecs borrowed a lot of things from the Mayans, and so think about these similarities as we go through. Economy, how did they make their money? Now, they made their money by farming, by trade, and by conquest. Conquest means that they took over other areas. They would attack the kingdoms next to them, and they would take their things too, okay? So that's one difference that we see the Aztecs were maybe a little more warlike than the Mayans. Government, all right? Just like the Mayans, the government of the Aztecs was set up in city-states. A city would control the area, the state around it, and they were ruled by kings. Now, let's look a little more at the government and compare it to our government, because our government is a representative government, meaning that the people get to vote or choose on their leaders. Now, did the people in the Aztec empire get to choose or vote on their leader? The answer is no. They were actually chosen from the royal family, okay? So only the family got to choose who the king would be, all right? The king had all the power over the people. The people did not have power over the king. They did not get to choose the king. Religion. Now, just like the Mayans, the Aztecs had many gods, and they practiced human sacrifice. Human sacrifice is when a person is killed in a temple as a way to please the gods. Now, the Mayans did this, but the Aztecs sort of took it to a new level, all right? Sometimes as many as a thousand people would be sacrificed on one day. They would take them up to the temple, cut open the chest, pull out the heart, sometimes while it's still beating, okay? Some of the folks that saw the Aztecs um, at the height of these sacrifices said that the rooms and the temples, the walls were just black because they were coated with so much blood. It's scary. Now, you might have guessed that they worshipped many gods, but one of the most important gods to the Aztecs was their war god, okay? We talked about they made money from attacking other people. Well, war was something that was important to them, so their war god was very important. Now let's talk about their architecture, their building style. The Aztec capital is called Tenochtitlan. It's very interesting because it's built on an island in the middle of a lake. And the Aztecs, they were very good architects. They were very good builders because they were actually able to expand and build more islands to expand and grow their city, okay? This is a picture of the temple district in the middle of town where all the temples were located. Again, just like the Mayans, they built temples. Now, we learned something about what was important to the Aztecs by the fact that these temples were in the middle of town. Just like in New England, like this New England town, people came from Britain to practice their religion, right? And so religion was very important to them. And so they put churches in the center of their town, see? Just like this. Well, that's something they had in common with Aztecs. They also put their temples and their religious buildings in the middle of their towns. It shows that that was one of the most important things to them. Now, Tenochtitlan was a really interesting place. So I want to read this primary source. Somebody actually saw the city while it was still there. Now it's destroyed. But while it was still there, somebody actually saw it. And this is how they described it. 
Gazing on such wonderful sights, we did not know what to say, or whether what appeared before us was real, for on the one side, on the land, there were great cities, and in the lake, ever many more. And the lake was crowded with canoes, and in the causeway were many bridges at intervals, and in front of us stood the great city of Mexico. That's what they called Tenochtitlan, all right? Now, this was written by someone who actually saw the city, and that's why it's a primary source. Now the city is destroyed, so we use primary sources like this to imagine what the city might have looked like. This is a picture that they created based on passages like the one we just read, and guessing what must it have looked like, okay? We have the great bridges that he described, the city in the middle of the lake, the cities along the outside, okay? This wasn't created by someone who actually saw the city. This is them trying to imagine what it might have looked like. Now, agriculture, okay? That has to do with farming. How did they farm? Now, they actually farmed by building islands in the lake that they lived in, okay? So they built farmland. When they didn't have enough farmland, they built islands to farm on, okay? And they're called chiampas. The modern city of Mexico City is built on top of what used to be Tenochtitlan. And there's a neighborhood in South Mexico City where you can still see the chiampas that the Aztecs built. It's very interesting. There's these, they're called the floating gardens of Xochimilco, okay? And these are the islands that the Aztecs actually built on the lake. Some other things that are important about the Aztecs. Now, they built aqueducts. Aqueducts are like pipes for transporting water into the city so they could have fountains and baths and things like that, all right? They also played a ball game, just like the Mayans, all right? This is a modern recreation. Now, we didn't have photographs back when the Aztecs were playing these, so this is people playing the same ball game that they think the Aztecs played. Now, one of the things I wanna mention again is that the military was very important, okay? Here's a picture of Aztec warriors, all right? They had many different uniforms showing their rank, how important they were, okay? And military was a very important part of Aztec life because that's one of the ways they got their money is from attacking other people, okay? Now, what happened to the Aztecs? Now, the Aztecs were conquered by Spain. Now, conquered means that they were attacked and taken over and defeated, okay? Hernando Cortes from Spain heard about the riches of the Aztecs. He decided to ally or join forces with other Native Americans who did not like being ruled by the Aztec king. So Hernando, Cor Hernando Cortes joined forces with other Native Americans who didn't like being attacked by the Aztecs, and together they were able to defeat the Aztecs. Okay, They destroyed the Aztec capital, and now on top of it they built Mexico City, which is still there today. Now, how did Cortes defeat the mighty Aztecs? We saw that mighty city that they had, those warriors that they had. How did Cortes defeat the mighty Aztecs? Well, he had those Native Americans who jo he joined forces with, his allies. That was very important. He had better weapons than the Aztecs, okay? He had metal swords and he had guns, all right? The Aztecs were still using spears and bows and arrows. Another important part is disease, okay? The Aztecs were not accustomed to the European diseases. So instead of getting a little bit sick and then recovering and getting better, they would oftentimes die from these diseases. So most of the Aztecs didn't actually die from the war. They actually died from diseases brought over from the Europeans. All right. Now, that pretty much wraps up the Aztecs. Tomorrow we're going to talk about one more American civilization, the Incas. Okay. Go ahead and finish your worksheet, all right? You have part two where you fill in the timeline and then answer the questions for part three, okay?